This is Darby. Um, she's four years old. She came in as a stray. Uh, and she's clearly had a pretty rough life. She's got uh, the nipples that show that she's been bred a lot. She's severely underweight. Uh, she has all this fly strike on her ears, uh, so she was kept outside. She also has a lot of really minor scarring on her face, but because the fur grew back white, it looks a lot worse than it is. Uh, when Darby first came in, she was super, super timid. She was actually really scared of me. And she's completely come around, now she just adores me. And the feeling is mutual. Still can't get her to give me kisses, but that's okay. Um, really a docile dog, she'll just sit next to me just like this and stay there while I pet her. Um, loves trees. Darby stay. Girl. Because she's a skinny mini, we'll let her have as many as she likes. Now when uh, Darby first became available, somebody here named her Blade. Blade. <laughs> For this dog, that is not a good name. So it, I, after the vampire killer from the movie? I guess, I don't know, but I would not allow her to be called Blade. Oh yeah, it's probably a very girly name. Cute. Oh yeah, Darby's a great name. Something cute and feminine. And a little bit Irish. Are you black Irish? So many people adopt based on looks and because she's funny looking, a little scruffy. Um, I think she's going to have a rough time. So I need somebody to see the beauty under the surface. Well, she certainly is sweet and gentle and affectionate. And really, really docile. I mean, is she... This is a dog who's not going to cause you problems, I think. She's probably so happy to have human gentleness. Yeah, I'm guessing she was just out in somebody's backyard. Reading, nursing, reading, reading nursing, <laughs> and never really interacting with people, and that's why she was so scared. Don't they have to have a ton of litters to get their chests like that? Um, or can that just happen with one litter? I think it's clearly more than one litter, but I don't know how many it would take. I mean, if a dog's had more than two litters, they're being bred. Either that or somebody's profoundly irresponsible. But yeah, they also don't get a fly strike like that on their ears just by going out for walks. It means she was left out there chronically. That's weird that there is. Is that unusual? That explain what a fly strike is for people. That Literally don't know. means the flies are chewing her flesh. When she came in, it was all bloody. And then it scabbed over, and then the scabs fell off. But um, chances are, it may close up a little bit with fur, but the fur's never going to regrow. I said it's strange. 